Heart attacks kill more people than any cancer, yet many of us are at risk and we will not know until it's too late. 11 News reporter Dave Fallon shows us what one Houston research doctor says is a solution and how his work is attracting critical attention nationwide. It's how Ken Lay died. Mr. Lay had severe coronary artery disease. Killed by a heart attack. Two years ago, former President Clinton could have ended up the same way, but doctors were able to save him with bypass surgery. With a million and a half Americans a year having heart attacks, some doctors expressed alarm that the president of all people, pretty quick and painless, had never had scans that are widely available to check for heart disease. The machines use radiation and ultrasound to find early signs of blocked arteries that lead to heart attacks. Definitely could pick him up. No doubt about it. We're focusing on this. Dr. Morton Nagavi is a Houston heart researcher. He believes virtually all of us should be getting these tests starting breathe. when we're middle-aged. It's probably more and more important for heart disease because heart disease, once you're struck, you're dead. It all sounds good. Nobody wants to have a heart attack. But questions are being raised about just how effective some of these heart exams really are. And if some of the doctors promoting them have a financial conflict of interest. The tests can cost hundreds of dollars each, and there are no conclusive studies that prove the widespread use of them would reduce heart attacks. That was pointed out in this article last month in the Boston Globe. It centered on the efforts of Dr. Nagave and over two dozen other doctors who are promoting the widespread use of the heart exams. The article pointed out some of the doctors had ties to medical and drug companies that could benefit if such exams were to be given to millions more people. The Boston Globe reported a very biased view of what they thought was the case. Dr. Nagave told us he makes no apologies for the connection between medical researchers and the medical industry, connections he said they fully disclosed. This should be regarded as a positive factor, not as a negative factor. In fact, Dr. Nagavi and his colleagues spent two hours showing us how they're developing a brand new way to check for blocked arteries. A new technology that could make cutting edge heart exams inexpensive and no more complicated than getting your blood pressure checked. There is none but like this. We're the only one in this country. How's he doing so far? He's doing great. The test involves measuring changes in blood temperature in the fingertips. A cuff cuts off blood flow, then it's released. Now you're, st you're expecting the temperature goes back up. The temperature is a measure of how much blood is flowing. The curve reveals if arteries are blocked or not. The, the bad would be if it goes like this. The device is being designed with help from computer scientists at the University of Houston. All of us are uh, collaborating very closely with people at the medical center. For me, it's a personal mission since my mother died from heart attack. If independent tests prove the device effective, millions more of us could be inexpensively checked for early signs of heart disease. The critics could debate whether it's money well spent. Dave Failing, 11 News. If you want to read more about the controversy over heart exams, go to KHOU.com. We can link you to more information.